Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video, we hop inside game with one of the new schematics and we basically explain how it works. And honestly, it's super underrated and not many people even know how it works and it changes the game for the most part. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel and enjoy. They have mods for sponsoring this video. They are a awesome Call of Duty service company. They go in, unlock all the camos for you, all the zombie schematics. They have a ton of pre-made accounts. They also give you the opportunity to go into bot lobbies to unlock a ton of stuff yourself. They have a ton of services for all types of games out there. Their Trustpilot reviews are awesome. Every single one of them is a great review and I can tell you guys what, this is probably the best company out there for services. Make sure you guys use code SPAZO to save money off. So with season three reloaded, they added some new schematics and I'm pretty sure a majority of us kind of know which ones they are. There's one that they added called Deadwire Detonators. Now at first glance, this is a classified schematic. It kind of doesn't make sense or it didn't make sense at first until you see the acquisition and actually read it. So you consume to apply dead wire to all explosive equipment. So what this means is when say you have the RGL and you know how you'll shoot one uh, rocket and it'll basically down the zombies but it'll damage them well what it will do is it'll now attach dead wire to those damaged and fallen zombies so it's going to make explosive weapons way more powerful than they already were which explosive weapons rgl crossbow more they're great they're all phenomenal they <laughs> you really can't beat them dude it, it's super hard to find other stuff that's like way better than you know an explosive weapon which is great but I'm hoping that this with the RGL just makes the RGL a little bit better so we're gonna see we're gonna push to the tier 3 zone now the one thing is is we're gonna need PhD because with the RGL you take a lot of damage whenever you shoot it and it's not uh, or and it's packed well regardless you take a lot of damage if you don't have PhD basically is my point but we're definitely going to have to pick that up. And then we can really test this out and see just how good it can truly be. We need to try and get to a contract. I wish I could have found a tear somewhere, but unfortunately there just wasn't one. So we're going to kind of have to just run through the zone. Hopefully we can get to like an outlast. I mean, if we have to, we'll do a spore, but I'm not necessarily looking to do a spore. So if we can like do this outlast, I'll be pretty happy. So we will see... As you can see, dead wire, it attaches to it, and it deals so much more damage to the zombies. So let's make our way to this Outlast contract. Where is, okay, there is a Wonder Fizz over there. We gotta be super careful, because we don't have Jug. We do have a Self Revive, which is good. We also don't have PhD. Let me throw this, oh my gosh. Yeah, you, you definitely gotta be careful in the tier three zone, for sure. Let me throw some plates on real quick. There's a crate over here. We could loot that. Could be a perk in it. Be super clutch if it was a <laughs> PhD. Uh, speed cola. I'll take it. Helps us plate up quicker for sure. Okay. Let's refill our decoys. Uh, okay, the outlast is still open. Let's try and make our way over there to grab it. We might dip instead of doing it right away and just go by PhD. Because it's going to save my life in the end, dude. For sure. So let's ping it real quick. There we go. Are there any crates up here? Just want to make sure I'm not missing stuff. Because in times when you need uh, items, perks, all that good stuff, you're going to want, for sure, to look everywhere you can. Okay. Well, let me head up to the Wonder Fizz real quick. By PhD. Actually, let's try and do this contract without it. I feel like we're good enough to do this. So then when we go to the Wonder Fizz, we can just buy a few perks instead of only being able to buy one. It just makes more sense. It's a little more dangerous, but I think we'll be all right. All right, let's activate the PND. Thank you. Okay, now we just wait until the zombie spawn. What's in here? Epic tool, we don't need that. I can always throw this Casimir if I have to as well. Try not to take much damage from these guys. There's dead wire. Let's 
just keep kind of shooting it. You definitely deal a lot more damage when it comes to, like, uh, explosives because, like, that zombie right there, he's getting the dead wire damage and he's dead. So he's basically dead off one hit. And then you can still pair this with a ammo mod. So you can still pair this with, say, Shatter Blast or maybe dead wire again if you wanted to. But you definitely can do that. And it makes it so much better. And again, this goes for all explosives in the game. Not just, say, the RGL. No, it goes for all of them. I did not really mean to throw that there, but it'll work. Which is the goal here. Okay. Good deal. Just to kind of hold zombies off of me until this contract's done. We don't have our field upgrade yet. Okay. Let me throw that. Decoy will help us for sure. Swap. Go up here. Grab the free self-revive we get. Okay, we got two, which is great. Literally phenomenal. All right, let's go to the Wonder Fizz now. Man, I want to run up this way, but I don't really want to kill that guy's zombies over there. It's all right. We'll go through here, and we'll grab some more decoys up on the way up. So we should be good. Throw it over there. Yeah, like all those zombies with the dead wire on them are going to die. So believe it or not, a lot of people are like, dude, these new schematics are pointless. I understand that they're not the best, but this one is actually pretty cool and it's pretty good. So I wouldn't say this one is pointless. I guess the gas mask and the sergeant, they're cool, but we don't really need those. <laughs> not in a zombies game mode, I don't think. You know, I realistically never need, you know, a gas mask thing to help me out or the sergeant's thing. I don't even go to merc camps. The only time I would do those is when a mission called for it. Back in when the game released, we had all those missions. It's the only time I go to merc camps. Okay, give me PhD, give me jug. Now we can basically just spam. All these zombies are going to die. You can hear it every time the dead wire goes off and hits a zombie. So you'll kind of be able to tell when you're playing as well. It's not very hard to hear it. We hit the mangler on that one. Now he's not going to be fully killed from it. Which <laughs> is understandable. But he does take a little bit of damage from it, which helps a ton, especially like when you're in times of need, because he's not damaging you. The zombies can't damage you when they're in this attack, right? So it makes it great. Forgot we had PhD there for a second. <laughs> I almost freaking went down. There we go. We hit him again with the dead wire. I'm going to go over here and grab the spore contract, because why not? Don't matter to me. Hop over here. Thank you. Okay. Locate the inhibitor devices. This will be relatively easy. RGL makes a lot of things easy in this game. Let me stow this decoy I have so we don't lose our decoys. But yeah, I mean, keep in mind, you definitely want PhD. <laughs> Don't forget about PhD. Because you will kill yourself, especially with the R or the RGL. With the more sniper, you don't need PhD or anything. You don't deal damage to yourself. Um, but this and the crossbow, you definitely want it. And like any RPG launcher or whatever, you're going to want it. Throw that there. Of that there. Oh, there's a guy playing over there. Brother, I will come help you once I finish this contract. Because now that I threw these inhibitor devices, if I dipped right now to come revive you, I would come back and they would all be gone and I'd have to go refill them all and it would take forever. So give me a second and I'll come over there and res you. Don't gotta worry. There's one right here. There's a hellhound behind me. Okay, there we go. Just 
got one more over here. There we go. Alright, brother. I'm coming to help you out down there. It's a cargo contract. I don't really want to do that. I feel like this guy needed it. Either that or he was doing the uh, crystal thing. To get the free crystal. Okay. Dip out of there. All these zombies right here. Shoot them twice. Stunned a ton of them. You kill zombies so much faster with this. Because believe it or not, the RGL, it's good. But you're definitely going to be spamming. We'll throw that on here. So now we got Blast on here as well. Did I miss anything? Okay. Wanted to make sure I didn't really think I seen everything, but I did. Which is no worries. So we have 5k. The question is, should I go buy the rest of my perks? Or should I do something else? I could do another spore. That wouldn't hurt for sure to just do another one. A little extra one. And head all the way over here to the spore contract. Okay, shoot that. Oh, that guy's playing again. Is that dude gonna grab that spore? I don't know. Okay, I'll go help this guy again. But I got a two, two res rule. I'm gonna help him again, but if he goes down again, there's not much more I can do. 120 meters away. All the way up here. 90 meters away. He's kind of like in the same spot. I don't know if he's AFK. Maybe. If he's AFK, then I don't want to res him because <laughs> every time he pleases, he's losing containment levels. No, we resed him over here. He must not be. Okay. And there you go, brother. Back in the game. Okay. What contracts are here? No spore. That dude did pick it up. There's a bounty. I'm not sure. Uh, there's an escort. No zombies are going to die. There's no need to worry about that. Brother. Didn't you pick up the cargo? Go get your cargo truck, man. I got you. You're protected. I think I killed everything down there. Uh, is that dude shooting those? Because I'll do it if I see him glowing still. Are they still there? No, they're not. Okay, they shot those. What about these other ones up here? There's still no other contracts. I'm trying to wait for like another outlast or something. Yeah, these ones aren't up here either. Okay. But do keep in mind the RGL is not great for bosses. That's kind of why we're not doing like bounty contracts and stuff. Because it, it's just not good. Just being honest. Just being honest. You can fight the Megas <laughs> as much as you want, but nothing's going to change that. Not with the RGL. The other ones are good for them. But with, like, say, the RGL, forget about it. Ooh, don't let me go down. Clutch. Super clutch. All right. Let's do this real quick. Mega. We'll find something to do. There we go. Thank you. Let's hop on rooftop. Somebody already looted this. Okay, up here we go. Alright, we can just chill up here now. Weapon stashes are easy. Super easy. They're just so much time consuming. Heck yeah, that was a beautiful shot. With that thermite.
Take him down, boys. I swear that guy picked up a cargo contract, the third guy here. I swear he picked that one up after I resed him. I'm not sure, though. I might be mistaking him for somebody else. Hey, they got him. Good stuff, boys. That's what I'm talking about, man. And we're a little over halfway done with this contract. Again, it just takes so long, weapon stashes. The good thing, though, is if you're not that good at the game, these contracts are very good. Because if you go down and you sit in, like, the self-revive thing, where, like, you just hold down your button to self-revive yourself, it actually still progresses. So, like, these are the go-to contract if, like, you're not sure if you can do contracts yet. Or you just die every time. They're pretty good because you can literally get two self-revives and do one. You might not even need to. You just run around the area till you die and then just hold it. And then right when it gets to before you bleed out, just res yourself. Alright. Contract is done. Thank you, game. You're awesome. Swaggy. Uh, I want to try and put that on. So you, like It's like a double. Like a double effect almost. See if it's any good. Rehit this. Get a thermite back. There's a bounty and a spore. I don't really want to do that. Definitely not a bounty. <laughs> it, it just want to be easy. Just take my word on it. If you use the Argel before for a boss, you know that it is just not a boss type of gun. Yeah, I don't want that spore. They can have that. I'm seeing if there's uh an opportunity to get a legendary tool and a flawless crystal here. Surprised no more outlasts have spawned in really this game. There's only a few. There's like two at the beginning and that I think was it. Let's see if these stones are available to be shot. Are they? Uh, no, they are not. Okay, well, <laughs> there's no contracts to do, which is crazy. So yeah, this is like, this is the dead wire detonators. That's the purpose with these. And it makes these explosive weapons so much better, especially like in like the dark ether, whenever you need to just like spam and get zombies dead and kill like hordes, especially in the new one. Definitely recommend trying this out in your game and let me know how you like the detonators. I think they're freaking awesome. For sure. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there in Xville. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.